Hi everyone, Jill McDowell here today bringing you a little snippet on Luchador and how to lace it. Um, for those of you who aren't acquainted with Luchador, um, let me tell you a little bit about it. It is actually um, a kind of, it's a stiffener I believe. Um, and where you're gonna you're gonna find it underneath your couches it's the lining of your couches and probably on the backs on your box springs so it's uh, got a little it's it's man-made material and it's probably got a little bit of plastic in it so it uh, it, it holds its sh shape and um, you can do some pretty cool things with it if you want to melt it um, it comes in a variety of um, It comes in quite a variety. Um, you can get these a package of, of mixed media sheets um, that come with two with five regular 70 gram weight sheets and five heavyweight 100 gram sheets. Um, you can also purchase it um, by the yard, and I got mine from Artistic Artifacts. This, I believe, is the 70 gram, and you can also get a lighter version that um, I think would be pretty cool laced over some fabric or a collage or something that would be pretty cool haven't played with it yet so we'll see how that goes in the future but anyway so so luchador what can you do with it you can do just about anything with it from what i'm hearing um you can fold it cut it print it stitch it distress it um you can burn it you can melt it you can die cut it you can put stamps on it uh, i think there's the possibilities are endless. And I'm just learning them now. Um, this is one of the first techniques I've learned today, lacing, um, and I'm really kind of excited to show it to you because I'm having a lot of fun with it. So um, let's get started. What you're going to need for this project is some luchador. Um, I'm most at, I, I, most of the big box stores I haven't seen them in. Um, I've found mine mostly online. Like I said, I got mine from Artistic Artifacts. Um, and um, just a little acrylic paint, a mix uh, mister, and probably um, then I use my uh, pen touch pens and pit markers to embellish them. And you will also need a heat gun. Okay. So what you want to do to start is you want to take your luchador and let's use the 70 gram, the regular weight sheets. That's a good start. And um, you can, I, I like to paint mine first to get some kind of a background. Um, and all I do is I mist it with a little water first, spray it with a little water. Then I mix up a little regular acrylic paint with also, and I water that down and I just wash it over. Um, I recommend that you let it dry by itself um, until you get used to Luchador. Because if you try to use the heat gun on it and it's too hot, you'll end up lacing it like I'm just about to show you to do. So, um, Let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting out with a scrap of Luchador, which I had previously misted with water, then put a wash on it of a watered down acrylic paint. I'm now using a heat gun, and I want you want to use it at the um, at a medium temperature to start off with. Uh, you might you might find you need it a little warmer, but I would start off at a low temperature to begin with. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're going to try to apply heat on it and you just keep moving your heat gun. Um, I also recommend that you want, probably want to hold down your luchador with some kind of a wooden object such as a, the end of a paintbrush, something like that, to keep it from flying away. So right now I think we're about getting up to the time where it's about to start. You'll start to see some of the uh, lacing in the, uh, in the bottom there of the screen. So it's starting to happen. Uh, when, when you see that happening, you want to pull your heat gun away um, so that you're not uh, melting the whole piece of fabric. Um, but just keep going. It's kind of cool to watch it melt in on each other. You never know what you're going to get um, when that happens. So um, I would go slowly, and uh, you're going to get some cool results. So uh, it's just about done now. Uh, yep. I think that's about all we're going to get out of it. Yeah. 
So here's the one that we just finished. What I usually like to do is I used to start with a pen, my pen touch pen, and I would start to edge and do the highlights with the gold. And I would go all the way around this piece and start creating some depth with the gold. And then when I finished with that, I might go in with a few different colors um, of my, uh, I like to use the pit pens. Um, I might, you know, de deepen them colors in some place and bring some other colors in ever, but okay, so once I finish that, let show let me show you a few pieces that I have done this all to so that you can see what it looks like. I wanted to give you a few examples of some of the Luchador pieces that I've finished. Um, I haven't mounted them yet, but I know how I plan on doing it. I'm going to show you it to you that way. Um, when I was at Brinfield, I got these old die cut boxes, I guess. Okay, and I, I just think that they are just gorgeous. And um, when you put the Luchador on it with that, um, I just think that looks spectacular. So that's going to be, I believe that's how I'm going to be mounting mine. Um, this was another piece of luchador that was washed in a yellow wash um, before it started. And after this is how it looks after I did the pit pens and the pen touch markers. Um, I have one more that I've done. Also, and I'm going to put this on a wood box. Let's zoom out so that you can see the whole piece. Again, this was done with a wash of three colors of Luchador. I did an orange teal and I did a green, um, and then uh, finished it off with the pen touch pen and the big brush markers. And this is a third piece that I did with the Luchador that's absolutely my absolute favorite. Um, this is in the teal in the purple colors, and what it is is I've got it in, housed in an old die cut. Um, that I picked up at Brinfield and I thought that was a lot of fun and I thought it looked pretty cool in there. So um, this is my favorite luchador piece. So I hope I've inspired you to try to give luchador a, t a try and do some lacing of your own. If you do, I'd love to see what you create. So please share. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.